We made more props on this movie, I think, than most of the movies that I've done in my career. I don't know the entire count. I would say well over 100. We have eight or 10 swords and probably six different spears, 10 or 12 knives. We did probably six or eight axes. It's a lot of different choices of kinds of weapons. I actually looked at props from all around the world, but if you think about it in a historic context, we went back to like really ancient, ancient, ancient research for the spear that kills Rue, for example. It kind of goes back to a short Assyrian spear. There isn't even any research on it, but we saw drawings. So this is a, the big display of some of the key weapons. Most of the weapons um, were originally made in aluminum, and then from the aluminums, we would cast them and make them in varying grades of rubber. We have fight rubbers, and then we have also super soft ones that we use for hitting people. They love to play with them. They're all a bunch of kids and they think it's the greatest thing in the world, especially our Kato. <laughs> he really likes hitting things. Here's a real Kato sword. They have a beautiful polished blade and just a really simple, classic handle. It's almost like a very modern interpretation of a classic hero's sword. And this is Glimmer's sword that's similar to Kato's, but it's a little girlier version. This is uh, Thresh's sickle. It's that perfect chop somebody's head off because he's from the district that is all about agriculture, we wanted to give him something that would have an agricultural kind of feeling and use. Well, Clove's definite we weapon of choice is throwing knives. Clove is an expert at throwing knives, we learn in the trading sequence. We designed a lot of really small knives and then some bigger knives. At the cornucopia, Clove picks up this knife and throws it at Katniss. It lands in Katniss's backpack. Katniss pulls it out, and this knife becomes a really key prop for her. I think my favorite prop in the movie is her bow. Her arrows and her quiver. The fun thing about Katniss's bow is that she has two bows in the movie. And the first bow is her hunting bow that her father's made that she hides in the district. We kind of modeled it on a Native American bow. We did a little bit of detail. We heavily aged it because she hides it in the forest. These arrows are kind of Native American inspired. They're hand tied. We use different kinds of feathers. and her quiver is very simple, hand-stitched. We even did a detail of as if her dad had an old leather belt that he used as a strap, so we literally made something that wasn't really a strap, but it was her dad's old belt, so it's almost like she has a part of her dad with her when she's hunting. Jen. <laughs> We wanted the other bow for the games to reflect the capital, as if everything that was made for the games was made by artisans. They kind of all had a uniform look. It's an aircraft aluminum with an anodized finish to look as if it's steel. In the book, it's described as a steel bow. So this is Katniss's game's arrow that she uses throughout the movie. And she starts out with 13 of these, and by the end, she's down just to one. These are all made by hand. We wanted something very long and thin and dangerous and high tech, but that was functional. So the fletching is clear plastic with silver mylar, but it would work as feather fletching would work. I like archery, but archery can be such a mind game. If you get it wrong, you get whipped here with a guitar string going like over 100 miles an hour. And it is so painful. And then 
you keep doing it, you keep getting hit in the same spot. So I have a very big, large love-hate relationship with archery. Good, good. Good, 13 and a half. Knowing that everything that you do, there's a whole group of people who have read and imagined in their own mind's eye what this item is. You feel this great responsibility to them to make sure that it's as good as it can be and that it really fulfills their fantasy and their images of what it might be. And maybe even surprise them with something that they didn't expect but that they might like.